Hello and welcome to Plus Equal. Today we will talk about surface snapping in Unity. Surface snapping is a, a kind of a technique in Unity to align game objects their surface together. We will take an example right here. So I will create two cubes. Cube 1. Control D to duplicate. And we have another cube here. So the first thing we need to do here is go to edit. And we have grid and snap settings. So you go here, and I already decrease my my snap uh, my snap size here. Uh, the default value I think is 0 0.25. I change it to this one, so it's a, a more precise snapping. I'll show you in a bit. So having two game objects and moving them to stick together, it's kind of hard to see when I, when they when they hit each other. So you can just hit control and move your move your game object. I will put it to point zero point one. Now we should be able to see it better. Okay. Uh, let me just put some some good bellow here. Three. And if I hit control and move to the right, 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, you see? So I will try to stick it together with my, my other cube here. Okay, seems good. Seems pretty good. If we can see that they are colliding here, this area here is colliding. And that's when we can try to be had to have more perfect results and put this for example for zero one and here we we move it to the right a little bit. You see when you see shadow it's because there is a space between them. So you have the shadow one and when you stick it when you put them back together there is no shadow, so it's that that kind of difference there. Now we are pretty sure that they are stick together, and the same goes when you want to have a cube in top of the other, for example, and hit control and moving up a little bit. Oop! Let me see if there is a shadow. Yeah, there's this. Uh, you can see that the, that the sky is there, so we need to. To move it a little bit just down one step Boop. and it's done there's no shadow there they are almost as a, a single game object let me see the result in the perspective view okay seems pretty good seems pretty good so try it yourself see what's better for your project so that's it for this video. I hope you guys learn something new this time as well. And I will see you in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like so we can move the algorithm of YouTube <laughs> to support me. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching guys.